what is going on good people of youtube it is me chavez back with another nba prize picks player props video for you for thursday january 11th 2024 as always i hope this content finds you doing well and in good spirits we got a couple of plays to recap from Wednesday. We got a couple new plays to go over for Thursday. Going to spend a moment or two over on the Odd Shopper Pick'em's table and go over some injury news in the NBA. So if all that sounds good to you, stick around, drop a like, sub up, and click the notification icon. Get notified of all upcoming content and videos from me on my channel. And without further delay, let's get into our two plays from Wednesday. All right, first play we talked about in Wednesday's live stream, Kobe White, four and a half rebound, took the over on this one. Unfortunately, he hooked it with four, found this play over an underdog fantasy. That was about the only thing he went under on Wednesday night as he went on to put up 50 plus fantasy points over 40 PRA, just a monster game versus the Rockets. Unfortunately, he couldn't get us one more rebound for that over. Second play we talked about had no problem going his, going over his line of 1.5 blocks. We played the over on Daniel Gaffer's blocks prop. We found this one on prize picks and jock market. He finishes the game with six blocks total of eight blocks and steals anytime we get daniel gaffer's blocks under two or his blocks and steals under three we're taking the over on it as he just absolutely crushes this line so we go one and one with our two plays today looking to go two and oh with our two plays for thursday hopefully these work out for us all before we get into those plays though let's make sure we are up to date on injury news going on in the nba injury news is as follows we got a couple of not even a couple we got like the whole dallas mavericks team on the injury report lucas on the on the report dante exum both of those guys are ruled out along with garland and mobley dayron sharp we have uh maxi Kleba. there's another uh, dallas maverick doubtful to play Derek lively the second doubtful to play along with DeAndre Ayton and Rui. And then we have Grant Williams, who was questionable. So that's five Dallas Mavericks on this damn report. LeBron James, Jabari Walker, Cam Reddish round out the Q tags. And then probable, we got Cameron Payne. All right, as always, all player prop research brought to you by props.cash, props props.cash. Easy for me to say. Been a partner of the channel since uh, the earliest of days. We've been using them for all of our researching needs on all of our live streams, all of our recorded videos, promo code on the screen. Thanks to 25. Use that code, receive 25% off your first month and uh, enjoy it. Enjoy it and thank me later. All right, here we go. Talking about two new plays for Thursday. I've been trying to mix in a few different pick em sites, not just prize picks, but uh, I go where the value is. So if the value is on prize picks, that's what we're talking about. If we get value on underdog, jock market and prize picks, we're talking about all of them. So always going to be open to playing the value and uh, hopefully bringing you winning picks. So let's just get right to it. First play I want to talk about is going to be an over 14 and a half rebounds and assist for Jared Allen over on prize picks. Second play I want to talk about is going to be an under for Spencer Dinwiddie, 24 and a half PRA. You can find this over on prize picks and jock market let's take these two plays let's head over to props.cash and let's start breaking them down all right here we are props.cash before we get into jared allen's rebounds and assists i do want to talk about his rebounds because his rebounds you can find on multiple sites you can find that over on jock market as well as prize picks so you can do a quick two man with uh with Dinwiddie on both prize picks, uh, excuse me, do a two man with Dinwiddie and Jared Allen on both prize picks and jock market, if you please. But Jared Allen's rebounds are also in play here. Gone over this in 60% uh, of his last 10 games, 60% of his, excuse me, 80% of his last five games. Absolutely crushing it. Mobley remains out, so a lot of usage is being funneled along to uh, Jared Allen. You can see he is projected for 11.78 rebounds versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, this game is being played in France, I believe. So it's a very early tip off, 1 p.m. So this game is going to start super early, which is why I wanted to get this video out to you uh, as quickly as possible, because some of these lines are probably going to move uh, while we're asleep. So getting this video out to you ASAP. So Jared Allen's rebounds look very strong. Brooklyn giving up uh, tons of rebounds per game. And um, just a really good spot for Jared Allen tomorrow. 
taking a look at his head to head versus the uh, the Brooklyn Nets. Looking at this, he's gone over in just one out of his last three games, but all three of these games were being played last season. Also, keep in mind, maybe a little bit of revenge narrative here. Things did not end on the best of notes between the Nets and Jared Allen, so maybe playing with a bit of a chip on the shoulder. Let's talk about his rebounds and assists. We already like his rebounds. Let's take a look at his rebounds and assists. We're getting it at 14 and a half over on prize picks. You can see this one is currently at 15 and a half on a few different books. We already like his rebounds at 11 and a half. Think he can get us 12. So if he goes over this 14 and a half line, it means he needs to get needs to get us three assists to do so. When we had reduced the line of 14 and a half, we can see that that does change and change a lot in his last 10 games. So five for five over his last five and then seven out of his last 10 in terms of rebounds and assist projection. He is projected for 15.27, which according to my calculations, that is higher than 14 and a half. The assist, that's what's going to get us over this mark. We need three assists from him. If he gets us 12 rebounds, we need three assists, and that's going to get us to 15. He could possibly get us 13 rebounds and only need two assists, but I just like the overall spot for Jared Allen versus the Brooklyn Nets. I'm not too worried about his matchup with Nick Claxton. I think he can get the job done. I think he can clean the glass enough to get the over on both his rebounds and rebounds and assists. So play number one taking the over jared allen rebounds and assists and you can also look to his rebounds alone all right sticking it in the same game spencer dinwiddie we're getting his rebounds points rebounds and assists i should say at 24 and a half this one is set to 23 and a half on a few different books but we can see that he has barely gone over that reduced line only three out of his last 10 games and only one out of his last five so what does this look like when we bring it up one doesn't really impact his 10 games because he wasn't clearing you know he wasn't clearing uh that number to begin with so uh when we bring it up you know these are so well below that it doesn't really change anything so 30 percent hit rate is still the uh the percentage for him when we bring that line down taking a look at his projection it is currently setting at 18.7 which is closer to 19 than it is to 18 but his matchup with the defense of the cleveland cavaliers is not a good one cleveland um ranking top 10 which is good in most of these defensive categories if not all of them right top 10 here nine four six seven yeah a uh, tough matchup for him now his head-to-head -head matchups we can take a look at that no head-to-head -head matchups to speak of this season or excuse me um only one to speak of this season and he put up a pretty bad game only nine pra i do want him to go under this but i don't think he goes out there and stinks it up with nine pra i project this to be closer to about 20 21 pra i just don't think he's that that bad of a player where he's going to get below 10 once again but it doesn't matter to me if he finishes with 24 23 21 as long as he finishes under 24 and a half we are in business. So taking the under on Spencer Dinwiddie's 24 and a half PRA. And then again, you can find this over on Price Picks and Jock Market. And that is going to round out our player prop portion of today's video. Let's quickly head on over to the Odd Shopper Pick'em's table. Let's see what value is on the board. See if you can't find something uh, to add to your slips. All right, here we are on the Odd, Shop Odd Shopper Pick'em's table. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select NBA to kick things off. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this. However, I do want to show you what's available in terms of NBA value already looking ahead to Thursday, uh, Thursday's game. So got three operators selected, jock market price picks and underdog got NBA selected. So these are my filters. The top play on the board right now is this Tumani Kamara rebounds line at five and a half heavy, uh, heavy, favorite, heavy favorite to go under with a 4% expected value, 56% hit rate, and minus 129 odds. There is Dinwiddie right there, but this is under his assist. You can find this over on Jock Market. Jalen Brunson over his assist on prize picks. His assists are set to 7 on uh, Underdog. So if you want to play the over on his assist, I suggest you find it on Underdog. Because you're going to get the lower line there. Kyrie under 6.5 uh and so forth i'm not gonna go and read them all off to you but i will scroll down as far as i can just to show you what is on the board 
for tomorrow's games. I do expect a lot of this to change and, and plays to be added uh, as we get closer to tip off. But right now, that Cleveland-Boston game tipping off 2 p.m. Eastern. So those are really the main plays that are on the board right now. So quick glimpse at the odds shopper pick them table. Um, again, Tumani Kamara is the one that is the most favorite uh, to go under the heaviest, uh, heaviest favorite, I should say, sitting right here at the top with a 5.5 rebound line looking to go under on that one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's video. We talk about prize picks a lot. Know they're a new partner of the channel, but so is Underdog. At the bottom of the screen, you see that referral code, Stochastic27. That is my referral code. Uh, double up your deposit over on Underdog if you have not yet signed up on Underdog. Go ahead and sign up using that referral code. Also, my referral link is in the video description. But uh, appreciate you stopping by, checking this video out. Drop a like and uh, click that notification icon so that you don't miss future videos. Leave me a comment also. Let me know what you like on the board as well as your thoughts on these plays. Uh, best of luck to you all. And regardless of the player props you're all with, mine, your own, somebody else's, I hope they all respect the damn coin. See y'all tomorrow. 8.25 a.m. for my live stream. And until that live stream, Chavez is